The DigiGirls program goes back to the year 2000. And as with most uh, things, uh, um, it started with two Microsoft employees that realized that you know, they needed to do something in their schools locally to attract more girls to ICT careers. And um, I think so far they have trained something like 23,000 people across the world since the year 2000. Um, recently in Europe we had a campaign that covered 18 countries and um, trained over 2,000 um, girls. So um, that's where it started from. And today, uh, a few years later, we're seeing our own longer term self-interest because there's a trend, a uh, falling trend of, um, of girls in uh, STEM, uh, the STEM area. And so uh, we're very much uh, invested in making sure that, um, that uh, girls continue to be attracted to ICT careers. Uh, we want to be ensure to we want to be sure that um, girls continue to be attracted to working, you know, in the among our IT partner ecosystem, which numbers two hundred fifty thousand partners around the world. So yes, we're completely committed to initiatives like DigiGirls that brings girls together with role models that gives them the chance to do uh, hands-on workshops on whether it's uh, coding, whether it's um, learning other tech skills, seeing product demos. And um, overall, the, um, uh, we feel as well that it's very important that they see role models, you know, senior Microsoft uh, people, just to make those careers a little bit more accessible to, um, to young girls. And of course, we want to do some myth busting and to demystify some of the, um, uh, the perceptions around IT careers and show the uh, possibilities uh, in the ICT, uh, ICT sector as exciting and that um, may influence their decision on what studies they will do. So DigiGirls is part of um, our uh, global initiative called YouthSpark and essentially what it is we were already doing a lot across the company um, helping young people to connect them to uh, jobs and training and uh, opportunities for entrepreneurship. And so what we did was we brought together a lot of our business programs serving youth in those areas with our philanthropy programs. And we created YouthSpark a year and a half ago with the goal of connecting 300 million youth across the world to opportunities for jobs, education, and entrepreneurship. And we feel that uh, we provided a cohesive, comprehensive uh, uh, pathway, if you like, from the classroom to the workplace where young people in uh, K-12 education have the opportunity to learn coding. We support the teachers as they teach technology. And then from there, as we move into higher education, we have a, um, a competition called, it's uh, the biggest uh, um, student competition worldwide called Imagine Cup that inspires uh, uh, technology students to use, to find technology solutions um, to address some of the world's biggest problems, um, such as the UN Millennium Development Goals. And beyond that, uh, in terms of looking for jobs, um, we have um, a program that helps IT entrepreneurs called the BizSpark program. And it helps them with, in their first few years, when I guess they're the most vulnerable, uh, it helps them with access to tools and special offerings for entrepreneurs. We also introduce them to uh, venture capitalists and help them create this community where uh, they can leverage the other assets and, um, and people within that community to help get their business off the ground. So all along the way from the classroom uh, to the workplace and beyond setting up your own business, the Youth Spark program is helping to address, uh, help young people at every step in that journey uh, to, um, to, to help them land opportunities in, in uh, employment uh, or entrepreneurship or training. I think the girls in ICT day from ITU, it's essential, it's very, very critical. And um, I think only an organization like ITU can, has the power to bring all these uh, different stakeholders together, whether it's um, private sector, IT sector like uh, Microsoft, um, public policy makers, um, and uh, non-profit organizations around the world that are working on the issue. I think it's essential that uh, ITU continue ICT Girls, um, International Girls and ICT Day because it brings focus to a lot of the work that we're doing as well. And I think that, you know, together we land greater impact, um, uh, you know, by mobilizing all our various expertise and assets um, to make a change at the end of the day. Mm -hmm.